in this video we are going to learn projection of planes uh, it is a very first problem video for planes so don't skip a single second uh, also i am wishing you a happy pongal to you all okay uh, let's see the problem a rectangular plane of size 30 mm and 50 mm side is resting on hp on one of the small side which is 30 degree inclined to the vp and the surface of the plane makes 45 degree inclination with hp draw its projections and find the above hp distance and reduced top view length uh, let's note down the given yeah uh, it is a rectangular plane okay you have to note down the name of the plane right and then we have to search the keyword uh, that is we have to search surface inclination in the question paper yeah uh, in this problem the surface inclination is with respect to the horizontal plane right so make a note of it uh, by knowing this step only, we can able to assume our uh, placement of our first step. Okay, uh, so kindly refer the concept video for a better understanding of these concepts. Okay, otherwise just remember this point. The first step assumption will be based on surface inclination. Right, uh, if it is inclined to the HP plane means first step will be in hp if suppose it is inclined to vp means first step will be in vp uh, why because means uh, at that surface inclination plane view only we can able to see the base of the plane right and the next important thing is we have to search the resting condition see uh, here they mentioned uh, one of the side is resting okay one of the side is resting so that particular element has to be drawn in the left side of your first step okay see here uh, by positioning like this we can satisfy the given or otherwise uh, maybe it may go wrong okay so just position the resting condition in the left side that is uh, whatever may be if suppose they may ask uh, uh, the corner is resting or the longer side is resting okay uh, whatever the resting condition in the planes has to be in the left side okay uh, so please make a note of it uh, by positioning at the right side also we can able to proceed the diagram uh, but uh, we need to tilt the step 3 in a correct way okay and the next given is uh, one edge is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the vertical plane okay let's proceed to draw uh, actually uh, this projection of planes contains six steps uh, up to now we have finalized our step number one and its assumptions right so first we are going to draw the rectangle in hp that is nothing but the placement of the plane and the position of the particular plane is yeah what is it we need to draw the shorter side in the left side okay that's it um draw the xy line with the help of two edge pencil as well as a drafter and then mark the vp as well as hp 30 mm side in the left uh, keep in mind the line must be perpendicular to the xy line after drawing a reference line then we have to mark the point a and then mark the point d what is the distance between a to d that is nothing but 30 mm okay uh, so make a note of it you can assume the in front of detail okay uh, because we are drawing uh, below the xy so you can take any dimensions from the xy just uh, uh, take uh, 4 centimeter or 5 centimeter below and then you can uh, able to mark the point a as well as point d uh, why because because they didn't mention the uh, in front of distance so no issues you can take any information right so i am taking uh, 5 centimeter in front of uh, x y right and a draw one horizontal line with a distance of 50 mm long uh, 
keep in mind that line must be parallel to the xy and at the 50th mm just to mark the point b that's it uh, from the point b draw one perpendicular line for a distance of 30 mm and mark the point c now connect the point c and d after identifying all the points just darken it okay just to darken it with the help of uh, uh, h or was or otherwise uh, hb pencil okay just to darken it with the help of uh, h or otherwise uh, hb pencil that's fine uh, up to now we have completed the step number one now uh, just to project the step one to the uh, vertical plane that is nothing but we have to draw some uh, extension line from the step one up to x y uh, why up to x y means uh, because the object is the plane is resting in the horizontal plane so up to x y only we have to extend the projections line uh, no need to extend beyond the x y if suppose uh, the above condition of the particular plane is given means we have to extend up to that particular height right in between the projection just to name the object yeah uh, this is the projection of point A and D and this is the projection of point B and C and D. And in the front view, the VP projected point A will be noted as small letter A dash. Similarly, point B will be noted as small letter B dash. And C as a C dash here the point b will hide the point c in the front view okay like this so uh, we need to put a bracket for c similarly uh, the point a only visible in the front view and the d will be a hided one so put a bracket for point d that is now just to darken that particular line uh, please make a note of it guys uh, mostly students will forget to darken this steps okay so you have to darken this step because this is a projected one right uh, up to now we have completed only two steps and then the step one contains four marks and then the step two contains only two marks let's proceed now we are going to draw the step number three In almost all the questions, uh, the step number three is nothing but the surface inclination step. Okay, the step number three is nothing but surface inclination step. Uh, whatever the angle which is related to surface inclination in the given has to be drawn in the step number three. And our inclination angle is 45 degree. Uh, just to leave a gap between step 2 as well as step 3 that is uh, uh, you can take 2 to 3 centimeters gap okay no issues and then uh, mark the resting edge point in the x y uh, here the edge is resting uh, that is nothing but a dash is uh, here the edge is resting that is nothing but our edge uh, a dash d dash so you have to mark the a dash d dash point in the step number 3 first and name the point as a1 dash as well as d1 dash now you have to place your protector and mark the angle 45 degree use two wedge pencil and just connect the a dash as well as the 45th degree and then now take the compass just measure the step to distance yeah that is nothing but we have to measure the linear distance between the projected end that is you have to measure the linear distance between uh, a dash to b dash and just transfer the distance with the help of a compass to our step number three and that intersection that intersection is our point b1 dash and darken it and name the uh, hidden point also that is uh, c1 dash you have to darken the line with the help of hb pencil or h pencil now let's proceed to step number four now uh, we have to draw some projections lines so take 2h pencil from the step number three 
uh, up to the top view uh, that is uh, from the vp to hp you have to uh, draw some projections lines okay uh, take 2 hp pencil as well as a drafter uh, from every point in the step number uh, 3 we have to draw the projections lines so from a1 dash t1 dash i am drawing one projection line uh, similarly from b1 dash as well as c1 dash point also i am drawing one projection line uh, just extend okay just extend the projector line up to uh, certain length like this similarly we have to draw the horizontal projections from where from step number one okay uh, now i am projecting from uh, a b and dc also now we have to mark the intersection first okay it is a very simple and important one find the common projection line and note down the respective points name yeah that's it uh, see here this is point a projection and uh, this one is point a1 dash projection line uh, what is the intersection point the intersection is our a1 because it is in hp so we have to name it as a1 right and then see here uh, this is point B projection and this one is point B1 dash projection. That intersection is our point B1. Just repeat the same. Just repeat the same for C1 and D1. Uh, after getting uh, B1, C1, D1, just darken the lines. Okay, just connect it. Uh, this step 3 carries two mark and then this step four carries uh, almost uh, uh, three marks okay uh, totally one two three four steps contains 11 marks only why i am telling mark means uh, if suppose uh, you are having a error in step three means the step four is also a wrong one step five is also going to be a wrong one step six is also going to be a wrong one okay so please uh, be conscious while drawing the diagram right and then uh, we are moving towards our step number five that is nothing but in most of the problems it will be a uh, edge inclination or otherwise a side inclination one and the angle in this problem is 30 degree to the vertical plane right so just draw one 30 degree line uh, from the x y either you can draw in this manner otherwise in this manner also you can draw no issues uh, right uh, uh, now we have to copy and paste the step four okay just copy the step four and just paste it paste it in the step five uh, it means uh, you have to tilt the step four that's it uh, what we are going to do is uh, just align the a1 d1 line in the 30 degree inclination line okay that's it now i am going to mark my point a2 in the line first okay uh, in the 30 degree inclined line you can mark the point a2 uh, uh, just mark it over here uh, right if suppose you are marking the point a2 very nearer to xy means uh, uh, definitely it will intersect with the xy line so uh, have a distance like this and then uh, from the step 4 measure the a1 to d1 distance and then just mark the same distance in step 5 from the point a2 okay uh, see in the step number 4 the a1 b1 line as well as d1 c1 line is perpendicular to a1 d1 line so what we are going to do is we have to draw Two more perpendicular lines in step number five that is we are going to draw perpendicular lines right uh, at point a2 you have to draw one perpendicular line similarly at point d2 you have to draw one perpendicular line right the perpendicular line must be perpendicular to the inclination line okay After drawing the perpendicular lines, now we are going to measure the 
distance in step number 4 and mark the distance in step number 5. And I am just transferring the distance to my step number 5. That is from point A to we have to make a arc that intersection that intersection is our point B2 just repeat the same for point C measure from the step number 4 that is C1 to D1 I am measuring and mark the distance in step number 5 and make an arc that intersection is our point C2 that's it for just darken the obtained points okay just connect A to B and then B to C and then C to D that's it now let's proceed to step number six it's a very easy one just to draw vertical projection from step number five and draw horizontal projection from step number three now I am going to draw from step number five okay uh, take two H pencil as well as a drafter in your hand now I am drawing some projection line from point A to and B to C to D to right uh, also keep in mind the projection line must be perpendicular to the XY line uh, and um, it must be parallel to the uh, all the points okay uh, it means um, we are drawing on projected line from a2 as well as uh, d2 right these two lines must be parallel to each other if suppose if suppose there is a small error in the parallelism uh, as well as the perpendicularism means definitely it will affect your final image okay so please uh, keep in mind while you are drawing the projections lines must be parallel as well as perpendicular one to the xy line uh, uh, in this problem you can't able to feel this but definitely uh, in the problem of five okay that is uh, i am going to discuss uh, one circular problem in problem number five uh, you will feel this okay uh, while you are going to make the step number three as well as uh, uh, step number six in the circular problem and definitely if suppose you are not ha having this type of uh, uh, parallelism as well as perpendicularism means uh, you won't you won't get the oval okay right uh, now we have to note down the intersection point let's start with point a okay uh, this is our a1 dash projection and then this is our a2 line projection uh, yeah that's it this point is our a2 dash next i am going to mark point uh, b2 dash uh, see uh, this is our b1 dash and this is our uh, b2 projection this point this intersection point is our b2 dash just to repeat the same okay just repeat the same for point c uh, this is my c2 dash Similarly, mark the point. Yeah, this is my D2 dash. That's it. Uh, after getting all the points, just darken it with the help of uh, uh, HP pencil. Okay, just to darken it. Uh, but you have to follow the sequence. Okay, you have to follow the sequence. That is important thing. Uh, if suppose uh, you are going to connect A to C means, yeah, that's the wrong one. Okay, so just to follow the sequence. Uh, if you want to know the sequence means just to see the image one. That is uh, just to see the step number one. Uh, actually, in this problem, uh, it is a very simple one. Uh, so definitely you won't get any confusions. But uh, uh, in the unit three, that is projection of solids as well as in the upcoming uh, some difficult planes, you may uh, have some confusions while you are going to uh, join okay so just to follow the sequence if you are having a uh, doubt in the sequence means uh, refer to your uh, step number one uh, now i am going to darken uh, a dash okay sorry and uh, now i am going to darken a2 dash to b2 dash and then b2 dash to c2 dash and then c2 dash to d2 dash Finally, connect uh, D2 dash to A2 dash. That's it. Okay. Uh, actually, this step 6 contains uh, 4 to 5 marks. And then this step 5 contains 3 marks. 
uh, also the remaining marks is going to be allotted for the neatness and then lettering uh, the way you are uh, dimensioning the objects okay etc uh, also uh, see in the uh, uh, question we have to find yeah we have to find the above hp distance as well as the reduced top view length they are asking okay uh, guys please make a note of it uh, this is an important one uh, why because means uh, sometimes they will ask this detail in the question and uh, uh, they are not going to give surface angle and then they are not going to give the uh, resting conditions okay at that time uh, by knowing these things definitely you can able to do okay uh, actually we are going to solve this type of problems in the upcoming videos so uh, please stay tuned right uh this height okay this height uh, from the xy line this height this height is nothing but the above hp distance of the uh, another end okay in this problem uh, this is another end or another edge okay another edge or another side height right mm, sometimes they uh, in the pentagon means definitely if edge rest means another corner will be there right and uh, this is the reduced top view length okay this is the reduced top view length this linear distance is reduced top view length uh, uh, if you are interested just share the values in the comment section uh, we will discuss it okay right mm, that's all for uh, at the end you have to give a heading and then at the bottom of the page all dimensions are in a mum and then scale okay so the scale is one is to one why one is to one means we have drawn the uh, actual size values okay 50 cross 30 we have drawn the 50 cross 30 rectangle in our diagram also okay if suppose uh, they are going to give 500 cross 300 means at the time we have to put some scales okay right uh, here we are just following one is one scale that's it uh, thank you thanks for learning here uh, uh, hit the like button if you are uh, like this content is a very useful one means right you can